Hey guys! In this video of the Mark 8 Mini Computer Reproduction Series, we will be assembling the Address Ledge Board. It's another straightforward board. The parts list can be found on page 4 of the Mark 8 Construction Manual, as with other boards. The parts layout is on page 31. On page 46, which is the box page, point number 7 states that IC1 pin 5 needs to be connected to IC2 pin 1. The parts layout sheet does not contain this jumper, but the board does have the holes for it. We just need to keep in mind that a jumper is to be installed there. Let's start our assembly with resistors, as always. There are three 10k ohm resistors, one 22k ohm resistor, and 12 1k ohm resistors. Next, let's install the ICs. As with other boards, I will actually install sockets in this step, and the ICs will be installed later. Again, reference the parts layout sheet for the IC and the socket orientation. This board has the standard 41 pin bottom connector, which is comprised of three 10 position Molox connectors and one 11 position Molox connector. The top of the board also has 8 position, 5 position and 6 position Molox connectors. The link in the description will contain the part numbers for each connector. There are 7 ceramic capacitors on this board, 6 of which are 0.01 microfarad. I will actually use 0.1 microfarad, the 0.01 spec might actually be a mistake. The 7 capacitor is a 680 picofarad ceramic disc. There are two jumpers on this board. One is a small one on the right side, and the other is on the left side which isn't annotated on the layout sheet but mentioned in the bugs list. Finally, let's install the ICs into the sockets. If you would like, now would be a good time to wash the board before installing the ICs. And that's it folks, the board is ready for testing. I'll hook it up to the other Mark 8 mini computer and try running a few programs to verify its functionality. The examine functionality seems to be broken. It does not go past 4 bits and it seems to increment too quickly in one cycle. After looking over the board to try to spot any defects, I realized that one of the vias was missing. The traces were there, but the hole was not. To fix this issue, we can drill it out with a number 60 or 1mm drill bit, as we did with the memory board. And then install a small wire or lead through the hole and solder both ends. This will connect both sides of the board. Newer versions of this board will have the defect fixed, but if you have an older board, be sure to follow this process to fix it. Additionally, I installed 1K ohm resistors between pin 4 and positive 5 volts of IC8 through IC11, the 74193 chips. As pointed out on the 74193 data sheet, this pin needs to be held high when the increment pin is toggled. If you watch my other videos, 
You may remember that we installed resistors on the address latchboard of the clone Mark 8 as well. This appears to be a bug with the original Mark 8 and was also reported by Derek Christensen, a viewer of this channel. So I'm still unsure why it wasn't included in the original box list, but the board does require these pull-up resistors. With the VIA installed and pull-up resistors soldered on, let's try running some tests again. It appears the board is working fine. The examine and deposit functionality checks out. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next video in this series. Bye bye.